Welcome to another great bait video. We gotta do one thing here before we get this video online. Uh, this is a must for anybody that's living in, in America today. Right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In Jesus' name, amen. God save us, please. Welcome. Today is February 23rd. It's a Friday. And I got something in the mail yesterday that I'm pretty excited about. Pretty cool. Um, it's going to go on something that I just got done as well. Um, if you're not a fan of the Second Amendment, you probably won't like this video. So um, turn it off if you don't want to watch it. But it does have to do with the Second Amendment. And what I have is going to be associated with one of these guns. So a buddy of mine told me about a gun that we just had to get, and I'm glad I got it. It's a very, very, very cool gun. I haven't shot it yet, because I had it uh, modified. But uh, this is what it looked like to begin with. It was a Smith & Wesson 10mm 2.0 Performance Center. Empty. Uh, but it's very, it's a very cool gun. It fits great in the hand. Feels good. Like I said, I haven't shot it yet, but I've got the, I've got the 10 millimeter uh, 2.0 version, which is a little bit shorter, and I love that gun. I really do. It's a little bit different now, so I'll put this one away so we don't mess with that one. And mine, I had uh, a buddy. Well, not a buddy, but I had. Uh, yeah, I guess I can call him a buddy. But I had somebody in Fremont uh, here that does a Cerakote uh, to uh, firearms and stuff and customizes them and everything. And if you know me, you know how much I like the Halloween movies and especially the Michael Myers character. So, this is what I had made. Isn't that cool? <laughs> no lives matter. This kills the boogeyman. <laughs> and he put little uh, red specks on it, like blood splatter and everything. They did a very good job with the handle here. It was hard to get the stencil to stick to that because it's textured. But uh, it's very, very cool. I really, I really like it. I really do. But And it's empty as well. I always check and make sure they're empty before I play with them. Safety's on. But this is a very cool gun now. I really like it. I'm glad I got this done. But today, what I'm going to do with this, not just show you that, I've got uh, magazine extensions. I got two of them. And I got a magazine release button that's red. They're uh, aluminum, obviously. So we're going to be playing with that and changing some stuff out on it and putting red on it that I think is going to actually look pretty good on her. So I'm going to get busy with that and uh, I'll show you the process as I go, hopefully. They even send you a Allen wrench for the magazine extensions. So I'm going to assume that since most anybody that's watched this video is a gun person, a 2A supporter, so you know how to take these magazines apart. It's got a little button on the bottom here, you just push that in pushes against the spring and you slide this slide the cover off make sure you put your thumb over this otherwise it's going to go flying but that's how you take that apart and you, I need to pull this out of here real quick There's one. There's two. You 
can see the spring is a little bit longer because this is going to add uh, three more rounds to the uh, the magazine. As I put these in here, it's actually fairly easy. I thought it was easy. <laughs> there we go. This one snapped in there. Now we'll just get this one out of here. Get to at least get the springs done, huh? Nothing else. And just slides right on up in there and pop that in the hole and you're done. Easy peasy, right? This only goes in one way. I just found that out. So you can't get it in backwards. You cannot put it in backwards. Come on. I know you can do it. There we go. There we go. And it's got a set screw. Well, you can see on the bottom here, I had it engraved. It says a boogeyman. <laughs> but it says a set screw in here that you got to tighten up. That way it won't slide off. You do it just enough to engage that. It gets tight right there, so that's snug. And that ain't coming off. That ain't coming off. Yep, that ain't coming off. So, let's get this other one put on there now. This is actually going pretty good. I'm pretty excited about this gun, I really am. Oops, I gotta loosen that screw. They left the screw out. There we go. There we go. There we go. And we are done. We are done. There's what it looks like. Boogeyman. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? I like that. I really do. But we got something else we got to get done here too. I'm going to put all this stuff in the baggie again. So we can uh, put them back on when we need them, if we ever need them. I don't think I'll ever need them, but you just never know. We'll put this Allen wrench back in this little holder. And I'll put these springs together. Put them back in the baggies. We also got this uh, red aluminum uh, magazine release that we're going to be playing with. So, in order to get the slide off of this thing, it's really fairly easy. Really very, very easy. Let me get the light turned on here so we can see what we're doing. Hopefully you'll be able to... Hopefully you'll be able to see what we're doing here. Um, you slide it back and you lock it in. Slide this down, 90. And you release it. And you gotta pull the trigger on these uh, Smith & Wessons to release the slide. So it comes off. And that's how you remove the slide. And if you look down in there, you can see that it's off the seat there. And you just slide this pin out. From what I understand. Yeah, see this thing just slides out. And you gotta go back in and move that spring 
back over. Uh, it's hard to get this thing so you can see it, but they showed it really easy on the internet. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this. It's not that difficult. There we go. Got it out. So, let's see if we can't get this back in. And this is going to be really easy to do, I think. Oops, kind of going through here. There we go. Now I got the slide in there, or the release button, but I got to get that pin over there into the notch. I don't know if you can see it or not, but kind of slide that little clip in there into the hole, this into the notch on the, the new release button. Gosh, why am I having such a hard time with this? It's not that difficult, man. Come on. There we go. It's in there now. I don't know if you can see it or not. But we got it in there, and it actually sticks out a little farther. It's an extended button. Now we just gotta see if it works. And it works. All right. I'm gonna put the slide back on. Same way you took it apart. Lock it. Got to lock the slide back. Flip this that way. And you're done. And you're done. These uh, releases are kind of hard from what a lot of people, and this one is difficult. You gotta pull down pretty hard on it. A lot of people file that uh, file that little catch there. You file the back side of that down a little bit. And I think I might do that, but I'm not gonna do that right now. But this is uh, definitely looks good now, huh? I like it. Looks even better, I should say. Looks even better. Got a red button. Got a red uh, magazine extension. Definitely looks like a uh, Michael Myers kind of utensil now, doesn't it? <laughs> I think that is cool. That is so cool. I really like it. Oh man, I can't wait to shoot it now. So anyway, stay tuned for that video. I might just do that. Yep, that works pretty good. That works good. I'm going to be really happy with that. Very cool, huh? Alright, a little update uh, before I get this video done. Um, I loaded these clips. <laughs> clips. I loaded these magazines up. This one's got a 180 grain um, bullet in it. All the point, obviously. And this one's got a 200 grain. So I'm gonna see. <laughs> I'm gonna see how these things shoot. I'm gonna go out to my nephew's on Sunday and uh, shoot it and see how it goes. But um, I didn't. I was mistaken on the the uh, mount this thing holds. It holds 17 and not 18. I thought this would hold three more rounds, but it only holds two, two extra rounds, which is still still uh, two more than what it was. But it sure made it look cool. So that's going to do it for this video. Uh, short and quick and easy to the point. And I'm going to be, I'm really in love with this gun. I really am. So I might have to go up on the wall. <laughs> so anyway, that's going to do it. Like I said, so we're done with that video. We'll go to the next one. So stay safe, stay healthy, and most of all, stay great. Go Big Red. Keep America great, make America great, MAGA, definitely MAGA, so talk to you later.